G'day everybody, this is the BB Armoria and I have a little project that I'm going to show you today. Uh, most of the Batmobile models, in fact I think all of them except for the Jazz Inc. Diorama one, is uh, the doors don't open properly on the Batmobiles. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to attempt to modify this, which is the Jada 118th scale Batmobile. And I'm going to attempt to uh, modify the door so that it opens correctly with this part of the door going internally instead of on the outside. You purists will know what I mean. Um, so if you'll bear with me a second, I'll get it all set up and then we'll start with the uh, modification. Oops, a daisy. I suppose I should have done this before, but... I'll just get this out of the box. Uh, there it comes. Okay, that's the lid off. Let's take the internal lid off. For those of you who would like to see, we take the internal lid, hot, lid off. In the lid, you get the die cast. Batman and Robin. There we go. We won't be using them today, so. Take all that out way. And then let's take the Batmobile out. There we go. Here we have the Jada 16th Batmobile. Oh, I mean 118th Batmobile. Now this is what I mean. It's about the door. When you open the door on this Batmobile, I've already taken the door off. Um, but when you open it, I'll show you the other side then, because that one works. When you open the door, the door comes out, outwards. It's not supposed to do that. You shouldn't see this part of the door. It's supposed to be inside the bodywork there. So what we're going to do is see, we're going to modify this so that it opens correctly. It is going to involve me cutting and shaping to get all this off. This has got to come off. This is the original arm. That's got to come off. we have got to modify this part here. Modify the top of the door. Um, so there's a bit of work and there's going to be some uh, cutting done with a Dremel style tool. But hopefully, I don't mind. It's one of them things I think, well, if I ruin it, I'll ruin it. If I don't, if it works, then it'll be a success. I'm going to take away some of the bodywork here as well. This has got to be drilled, uh, sorry, uh, dremeled and filed. And then that should allow me then to... Um, fabricate the hinge okay so for this first part we need basic uh, item screwdriver and i'll show you that uh, on the bottom there are six screws which we shall undo and we'll fast forward this part when uh, when i get there so the first thing you want to do is just down in there just underneath this portion here you need to bring this wire you need to take this wire out there's the, there's the one and then under under the back there's another wire pull that one out and we have that free we don't need the bottom half so that can be placed out of the way okay next portion Next thing we need to do is to take off the two screws in here. So take the cockpit piece out and then we can unscrew the mechanism for the doors.
both doors, lift that out. And we'll take this one out and then I'll show you. Now this simple case, it lifts out. And there we go. So hopefully, now that we can see, that the door on the Batmobile should open with that bit inside there. That's how it's supposed to open. It's supposed to just turn in. So for this to happen, or for this to occur, what we need to do is reshape the door slightly so the top of the door here needs to be taken off a little bit to allow it to go in it's okay it's um it shouldn't be too bad and then this portion in here this needs to be removed to uh allow the door to go internally but it should work hopefully there's a bit of uh modeling that's got to be done so i'm going to do that off camera and i'll show you what i'm going to do and then i will be back when i finish doing it just to show you though i'm going to remove this portion here all down there into this v here the bodywork and part of the floor door stop just there I'm going to remove that when it's finished well okay so I said I'd show you later. So this is where we're at, we are at the moment. So I've taken out a piece at the top of the door there and down the side and a little piece on the bottom there. So I'll show you on the other side so you can sort of envisage what I'm sort of seeing. There we go. So I've taken out this piece here, this shiny piece, up to that line there. And I'm taking out the door frame here. And we've got to cut into the V there at the side. It's that V portion there. That's going to be cut out as well. And part of the floor there was cut out at the door closure point there. So I'll turn it back around and show you. So there we go. That's all been taken out. And you can see all my files and tools and stuff have been busy. I've got different uh, files and whatnot and diamond files and sort of thing. And the old uh, the modeler's favourite, the Dremel. Although it's a cheap uh, copy, but it works well. But I always buy the cheaper copy, but I buy the good accessories. There's a box of Dremel accessories under Dremel accessories. So, yeah, so that's what's in this box over the back here. You see a picture on the side, look. All the Dremel pieces. You can use your little. Uh, cheap nasty ones as well which I do do they're over here and they use the cheaper sort of option ones which are uh, this little pile I want to find it oh yes the cheaper sort of smaller ones <laughs> so yeah they're good for when you want to wear something away or do a piece that you don't mind wearing the drill out so, so far, it's going to plan. I'll show you how I know it's going to plan. Because the door Let's put the door back in. So obviously it'll all be trimmed up and tidied up. But the door, when I've cut that diamond piece out, when I've cut that piece out of here, and I'm on about, the door fits in under I'll show you from a top down view there you go it fits in like it's supposed to there we go right in look we can push that door right in as far as I want so when we get it hinged there like that it'll come out it'll close and open just like the Batmobile's supposed to that would look cool. Obviously, it won't come out just yet because, uh, as I say, I've got to grind all this portion away here. 
and almost grind the post, the, the door pillar there, grind that almost as a thin skin, just like a car, and grind the wing completely out. Okay then, let's show you what I've achieved here then. Um, so, it's um, with a lot of tools, it's a lot, I've got a lot of files here, look. Um, files, my uh, Dremel, I'll use that as well. Um, so, lots of different tools. As I said before, I'm not going to show you all the filing, because if you don't know how to file something, maybe you shouldn't be doing this. Okay, so we have to remove all the metal work from this so that the um, what you call it the uh, door could swing open so basically I've removed metal work from under the edge here I'll show you on the other side I've removed all this door frame in here and reshaped the triangle piece here as well because the door's got to open and go in there because on the front edge of the door there is the piece that sticks out there okay oh, the focus is a bit right <coughs> so I'll show you on the other side so what I removed was that shiny piece there all this here so from from there and removed all of that under there and also removed all of this this door frame and even cut in there to make a V so all this had to come out as well and then part of the door stop there had to come out as well so all of this here all of that under there and part of the door stop to about here this allows for the pivot of the door and I'll show you that it does work and then it opens correctly like the Batmobile is supposed to so if you imagine the door's in there and then it pivots and the door goes inside the bodywork there we go <coughs> excuse me inside the bodywork like it's supposed to okay so I've got to do the hinge it does work I've had it all there you go it does actually when you get it all in the right position there you go and the door goes in the bodywork which is supposed to do just like on the real Batmobile the Corgi Batmobile doesn't obviously because the doors don't open the Jada 124 doesn't because the doors doesn't open <coughs> excuse me a second <coughs> so if you find any Batmobile with the doors that open they generally open as a normal car door they come out sort of like that like a car door but the Batmobile had pivoting doors so the 1 16th Jazz Inc diorama doors work like the Batmobile is supposed to so now I'm not worried about too much about this paint and uh, the chrome that's showing and whatnot or the Mazak or aluminium or steel molding whatever it is but uh, I don't know if any of you've got any I invested in some of them uh, paint pens they're absolutely brilliant so I can touch this up with a paint pen um, and then I've got a orange as well so I can touch up that like, tiny little bit of scuff there on the top that's no problem and uh, yeah so when you when I've done all this the other thing that works well on black paint and black is um, black marker pen if it's somewhere that you don't want to waste paint use a black marker pen that uh, fills in a lot of black stuff especially like on the edge of the door here, look where I've got all them scratches and stuff. I should just put a black marker pen to that and it'll look the part. Okay, so here we have the finished product and I just thought I'd show you um, as it's finished because I wanted to crack on and get on with finishing it. Um, as soon as I'd finished it, you probably noticed just to the left of the badge in the crease of the door there, there's a hole. So when I finished it, Joker came along and used his Buntline special and popped a hole in it. So anyway, let's uh, show you how the doors work. Just like the real thing, just like the real Batmobile, there we go. The doors go on the inside of the bodywork. 
it worked out really nice so i was i was quite pleased um there's a little bit of damage and scoff marks you probably see um the black touch-up pen i've got is matte black um so not too bad at the moment i'm quite pleased it came out very very well no um visual of the uh hinge that i made uh, it's all hidden um i think it came out really really well i'm really pleased uh with the effect um i, I haven't shown you the building of the hinge i have the right hand door to do and i promise on the next video i will show how i built the hinge for it and what i used it's all just scrap parts and screws and nuts and bolts and that sort of stuff but yeah it's uh it's something I thought was achievable, and um, yeah, it just shows. I also own the um, Jada 124th. I have said on a previous video that the doors don't open on that, but they do. So I'm going to uh, convert them as well. So I hope you enjoyed watching my conversion. And uh, I may have the, the only Jada Batmobile with correct opening doors. Look out for the next video. I do apologise I'm slow in the uploading. Um, I'm not a prolific YouTube user, but hopefully I'll get the next one out as soon as possible. Thank you.